What is he doing with that bike pump? This is what happens when you buy a salvaged Tesla. I'm Natalie. Our car barn collection is mostly classics or Japanese drifty boys. You'll mostly see us work on those. We tried something new with this salvage Model S. Getting it on the trailer was a little horrifying. The air suspension dropped it like it's hot, then got stuck there. It was my responsibility to operate the winch. Good thing it was just pushing a button. Overall, everyone and the Tesla stayed safe. We had to figure out how to get it off the trailer and into the car barn. Mike figured out how to manually pump air into the system. You can see him making his adapters out of parts. I ever so often try and research a solution to various mechanical issues. I can usually feel like a little teacher's pet and report back some solution to Mike. Researching information about Tesla is much different. The information is sparse and or gate kept. I get it, most of the cars are still under warranty, but nearly every suggested solution is to take it into a Tesla shop. The car is no longer under warranty and since it's salvaged, it's blacklisted. So we can't easily take it in and get it diagnosed and fixed. Plus, isn't half the fun of owning your own vehicle, figuring out how to fix it yourself? 